What's up guys? This is the Roafman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Bavaria. So to pick up where we left off, we are making quite a desperate plea to take the city of Cologne in order to destroy this Württemberg force. A uh, Westphalian force, sorry, that's en route to Dresden. I mean, the city will fall uh, sooner or later from the Prussians, but uh, if we attack and capture Cologne, then this force will disappear. So let's attack the city. They've got a couple of mortars. We're going to need to move in hard and fast. We're going to rely a lot on our cavalry force. And it's definitely doable because the main army is actually depleted. And the bulk of the their actual force is militia. And I, I mean, the same can be said of ours. But at the very least, we have more infantry to actually do stuff. But yes, yeah, so if we can take the city, that will narrow our enemies back down to just Prussia after we finished conquering all these uh, small German states. But we do need to be careful around how we um, administer these states. So let's put our line infantry in the centre. That's not all of our line infantry, is it? So we have to go fairly wide because we don't have fire by rank. That in of itself isn't going to be a huge issue. Um, but we are going to want to make sure we make... Yeah, my general unit with militia is going to stay back. And this is our first outing of the Wild, the wild Dragoons. Which look pretty damn awesome, I think. Really nice. Uh, they, they can dismount, but tend not to really do that. So let's pre-select my line infantry, get the battle going, and set you guys to run. As is tradition, we're going to want to use our militia to surround the enemy and cause them to rout. I'm not expecting great things from them, um, but we do need them to do work. The cavalry is likely to be a bit reactive in this manner. They're going after my general, the CADs. Armed citizenry. they got a couple of cavalry units, but we keep, that's why we want to keep mine in kind of a reserve. And that's why I want to push up with my line infantry aggressively. And then I can fall, fold my militia around their flanks and just cause them to rout one after another, after another, after another. Yeah, another salvo inbound. Yeah, this will help significantly, but it will not save us alone. We still have quite a significant uh, challenge ahead of us. I do like the fact that they are abandoning their position somewhat. Because we can then fold our flank in quite well. Push up my cavalry on the flank. All of these guys can only shoot the mortars and I'm okay with that. Just open fire against the 7th Regiment. We're just too... We're just, uh, just within range. I'm hoping... Yes, they're perfect. I was hoping to see those units. That unit routes, so then I can do this. Get this cavalry up over up along their flanks. So you men can open fire. We're within the medium the minimum range required for their guns to work. Keep pushing up the cavalry. Actually run the cavalry up now, because it looks like they might be about to elect to use some of their cavalry in the fight. Oh no, apparently not. But yes, you men advance up and begin engaging. We will have some fire into the rear. They're charging right into our front line. The 10th Regiment are wavering, which I don't like. I 
new men form square. Keep our surround going. There we go. The enemy cavalry is routing, so take our line here and advance it up. Just about fully surround these guys, and we could probably do a better job of it. Actually, my general's bodyguard unit might be high up enough to not shoot too many of our own men in the rear. So now I'm relying on just pure bloody mindedness and fear of capitulation. But I think that is going to be the enemy force routed. They do have a cavalry unit still involved, but I don't think that's going to matter. This militia unit should do quite well from the routing troops. But realistically, these units are now trapped, being fired upon from all sides. Cavalry may as well chase down some of these enemy units. They're likely to not come back, but I think that's going to be a pretty darn decisive capitulation. Just you guys. Oh no you don't. Oh, that's a lot of men running through the 6th Regiment of Militia. We won't kill all of them, but we'll kill a good amount. Aha! The unit of garrison militia has come back, so our dragoons, our wild dragoons, can take the initiative and charge them there. And follow up with the unit of Prushenk horse. 13th Regiment of Militia is currently idle. Let's bring you guys up as well. There we go. The actual... Westphalian army has just been annihilated, effectively. That's right, Militia. You guys should be upset, because that's a hell of a hammering you chaps just took. I think that's their entire army routing it. Just these final chaps. Nice. It's very good. We could continue it, but we may as well just end it there. Mainly because we're probably not going to be running short of battles in this episode. We lost 348 men. They lost their entire garrison, which is perfect. So, Cologne, minus 8. Clamour for reform is 6. So if we get rid of Magburg... Can't repair anything. But what we need to do is keep an eye on Stuttgart. Stuttgart's minus three. We're building a unit of Val Dragoon. So let's take a unit of Prushenk Horse and get you down there. We're demolishing the college. Hanover is minus nine. Could do with trying to replenish some of those guys. I could probably send two units of cavalry over to Hanover. I mean, fundamentally... We're not going to stop Hanover from rebelling. Not at minus nine and they're already exempt from tax. We could try and build a happiness building, but I think... Well, it won't happen quickly enough. It'll take at least three turns to build one. And then they will have re they will have rebelled by then. Um, you guys hold. You're a good strength. We're not at war with the United Provinces. That's good. I don't want to move anyone out because Cologne is still upset. So next turn, I need to repair that governor's building. So let's get my rake over here. The only hope we've got is is the hope that the Prussians are so depleted. If we keep ah, there goes <laughs> there goes one agent. I uh, need to keep sabotaging their barracks to prevent them from recruiting. Oh, that's not good either. <laughs> Try and sabotage their barracks to prevent them from. Replenishing and recruiting more men. So Coburg is on with military syllabus because we do want to rush fire by rank now at this point. Um, I think 
So we can immune, so it takes three turns to build a drill school. So what will probably be a good idea is to yeah, research empiricism while the drill school is building so that when we start researching fire by rank, we can also upgrade it to a college to speed up that uh, that research. But yeah, so right now we've got a problem in that lots of these former German states are actually quite rebellious. So even though we've won, quote-unquote, they've still they're still going to take a few turns to put down any notions of rebellion and obviously researching any physio physiocracy technologies are going to work against us in that regard because they usually increase unhappiness but we've got to do what we've got to do every turn that cranks past now oh gentlemen Wilbald von baden baden let's get up to Kogberg. Coburg. good Recruitment report. Okay, so Hanover's got Dragoons. So you're going up to Hanover. At the very least, we'll be able to fight whatever... Oh no, we... that's not very much money at all. That's not enough to repair this building. Right, okay. So I need to repair that this turn. So how much do I need? 800. Not very much. Um... Okay, hey Austria. Do you want canister shot? Ooh. Okay, okay, let's see if I can get both technologies plus a grand from Austria. Damn. At the very least, let's try and do a straight swap because it benefits me. They don't want to give me the tech and they're going to pay me. You know what? I'll still take it. Um, Hey Sweden. How about if I give you carbines, which is really good, and I ask for a grand. Nine ring of bayonets for nine, nine yeah. I'll take what I can get. Actually, where's the Maratha Confederacy? Because they're up against it. If I give you two technologies, I'll ask for four. I won't get it, but nah. So let's try and give them Usually the AI will kind of sit around a grand per tech. <laughs> for, for a grand for both of them, no. I'll give you square formation for that. I can agree to your offer. Good, okay. So we've got some scrapes and cash up. So you upgrade to that. You run down Stuttgart. That's brought them into the fold. So now you can replenish. We can't tax Württemberg yet because I, I can't remember if they were they, I'm pretty sure they were unhappy previously if you run back out yes so we can't tax Stuttgart this turn because that will be a continuous flow of negative behavior or negative attitudes so you're unhappy that's going to be built the theater will take too long to build You've been built. Okay, let's see if we can send our last agent in to sabotage the barracks. Nope. Okay, so we've got 2,000. Next turn I'm going to get 1,400. Okay, I think... Hmm. Repairing this craft workshop is a good investment. Uh, let's spend the remainder of our budget, well, 800 of it, on re 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 on um, replenishing our troops, because potentially that, plus the addition of the governor's barracks, will make the um, public order get back on side in Cologne. To be honest, I could probably do with giving France some technologies to spur get spar against the United Provinces. So I think a strong France is good for me at the moment because the United Provinces could go for me they could they could declare war on me hopefully they don't but so now we've got a one turn of uh, zero um, public order in Württemberg so what I believe that means I can do first of all we've got a new rake let's potentially send it yeah Hanover's rebelled Sabotage the barracks. Mm. 
Workers have rioted in Hanover. Understandably. Down to minus four. Oh no, they re 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 rebelled in Cologne. And Okay, so they are probably going to rebel. So Stuttgart, can you leave? You can. Get back to Rhineland. Hopefully bring them back to zero. Great. That's rebellion in Cologne dealt with. Stuttgart is currently zero. We could tax them. And not do much else. I need to be ready for when this drill school is done. Uh, let's spend the remainder of my cash replenishing the Hanover garrison. Okay, so hey France. What about what if I offer you square bayonet and I ask you for two grand because you're more rich? Ah. Oh. Fine. Hmm. Still no. Okay, let's go to the 13 colonies. Plug bayonet, yes. And I want two grand for it. Let's see if they will give it to me. Carbines and canister shots for a grand. What about just carbines? Got the cash from there. So let's try and get carbines for a grand from Sweden. Nuts. Portugal, Spain. Spain's not... Okay, let's try... Oh, plug bayonet. They've been going for industrial techs. Interesting. That's a terrible deal. Clust canister shot plug bayonets physiocracy for common land enclosures in 390. Uh, no. Terrible. Terrible. Okay, let's go back to the Marathas. Offer them canister shot for one last delicious grand. Nope. Ah. No one wants to help us. So you're replenishing. That's repairing. I don't want to upgrade you to another, another happiness building. I think what I have to do is spend this cash. Okay, two grand coming in next turn. Oh, your infantry is quite expensive. Let's recruit two units of Lanvin militia here at Hanover. Two turns, so we need to have two grand in the bank for the drill school. So you're exempt from tax. Can we? Yeah, you're exempt from tax. Hanover's currently still being taxed. Go on, Stuttgart. Not Stuttgart, France. Uh, right. So I can't move out of Hanover until I put down the Hanover Rebellion. Can't move my army out of Cologne, because otherwise Cologne will rebel. So I think that's why I need to blitz towards fire by rank, because otherwise we're just not going to have... I haven't got the standing army to do what we need to do yet until West Germany is brought into the fold. So let's see if Hanover elects to attack my garrison. No, they have not. Got another rake. So let's get him up here as well. First of all, just get up here. You sabotage the barracks. You failed. You sabotage the barracks. Huzzah! Okay, so Cologne is just about standing. So let's see if I can take two units of infantry out. Okay, no. How about just the one unit of infantry? Take one unit out, get them over to Hanover. Because partly I don't want to necessarily abandon this front anyway, because I don't quite know what they're going to be doing, and that's a lot of elite troops. Hmm. What about taking militia unit out? Nope. Same answer. Okay, you might be... A okay, I'm not going to do anything yet because I'm going to take my army out of Hanover. It's currently minus two. So if I... Oh, I can't take them all out. I need to lose this unit of infantry. 
go attack Balthazar Library. Yeah, just a couple of cavalry units, militia. Yeah, we'll take them out. Because if I kill the Hanoverian rebels, that has a significant impact on public order. And to be honest, the territory may even be um, equal now, this turn, potentially. Yeah, we need to, well, one thing we need to bear in mind is I need to have enough, I need to have enough money to get that uh, new military educational building done as quickly as possible. My guns are going to be here, just unloading at range. Advance up my infantry. I've got a significant cavalry advantage. Well, to be honest, I've got a significant advantage across the board. That's why I attacked. I can hear their cavalry charge. Okay, they're going for my guns. But you men deploy into square, send a Prushank horse forward. You men hit the gendarmerie should be the end of that cavalry unit. My infantry can advance at speed. My cavalry run. The gendarmerie are wavering already. Okay, we're both re wavering. My wild dragoon is still in pretty good shape. Charge my cavalry towards their infantry because they are unhappy. Get my Prushenk. My Wild Dragoon broke already. Ah. Well, Anvair Militia f is forming into square, which is quite interesting to see. Uh, this militia unit's wavering after one attack. Bring my Prushenk horse forward to attack the artillery. Actually, bring my cavalry forward to attack their carabiner. Run my cavalry back, because they're both wavering, because they're under musket fire. Artillery, ceasefire. Hey, a massive rebellion. Or rout. We do want to continue because you are rebellious, tr rebellious men. I'd like this unit of Dragoons to come back, please. Doesn't look like they are going to come back there. They've only lost 25 guys there, that's not very many. Looks like they're going to be out of the chase for some time. And because of the routing choices of the enemy infantry, they may yet live to fight another day. Which is a bit of a bummer, but there we are. Actually, these, this unit may well have messed up big time. Come on. Come on, county militia. It's the end of you, so somewhere... Okay, there's the pirate crew. There's the gun crew. They're off. They're not sticking around. Although they have chosen... Nah, they're still going to make it. Dang, nabbit. Oh well, that's still a significant victory for us. Because this is probably going to be the core of the army that pushes on Berlin. Yeah, they've ran, so we're going to auto the remaining... Yeah. Auto that final engagement. So now Hanover. 
can be brought into the fold. So if I replenish... So we've got one turn. 2,000. We've just about got 2,000. We should be getting 2,000 this turn. So in theory, I can replenish you guys. So I can't lose anyone else from Cologne nor Stuttgart. I might actually resent them from tax. Because if they break the Bordy House, that causes problems. So we're not going to get as much tax next turn, but we should have about 2,600 for the the barracks upgrade. But my job, my aim is to slowly peel troops away from Cologne while we focus on the Prussians. And a part of that will be taking, uh, well, we will be researching fire by rank. Because we need to, with our small army, we haven't got the economy to support a large army, so we have to focus on a small one which means we need to maximise our capabilities. Savoy is pushing up towards France. That's not good at all. At least not yet. So if I hold Dresden and Prussia, I can feel fairly secure in the east and push on towards Gdansk and Königsberg and all that good stuff. Okay, military syllabus. Good. Build drill school. So, so now Württemberg should be able to be taxed without any issues. I can't move the Dragoons out. No. One more turn until that Dragoon unit gets freed up. Hanover can now be taxed. Uchatsky fully replenished. And we could even put Prussia under siege. But I don't think that's a good idea until I... I want to move... Okay, what about... I can... Oh, minus, knocks you down to minus one. He didn't update. So you men can advance over towards Hanover. They still need to replenish, but then this army is within spitting distance of Berlin, which is great. Keep sabotaging. Got no, oh, that's, okay, that was a rake we'd already had. Okay, so you... No, no point doing anything to that army. You can't stop it from moving. Sabotage the barracks. Got, got executed. You've done your thing. You try sabotage the barracks. Then you try, because you can see they've not they've, they've repaired it. You, in theory, I wonder if we sabotage this. Does that cancel their upgrade? No, sadly not. Um, I want them to upgrade upgrade the university before I get there. So I don't have to spend the money on it. But overall, things are looking okay. So we've got the barrack. We've got this being built next turn 2700, which means we should be able to upgrade a college next turn. We may have to exempt Hanover from tax. If we're replenished and push on to Berlin. France is on the move, but they've moved a garrison out of Paris. Okay. Continue your offensive against the Dutch. That's great. Okay. Uh, hmm. Shouldn't be a problem calling in our allies. Shouldn't be. Classically, only the Marathas aren't drawn in. But I expect we'll probably end up seeing another offer of peace. So Cologne, that makes me glad that I've got a bit of reinforcement there at Cologne. Okay, so we're going for Berlin then, because Prussia's just moved their troops out of it. But annoyingly, actually, we might not have the... Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Go on, Marathas, I'll bring you in, just because you're so vulnerable. Those forces can't go for the city of Paris itself because the garrison is so strong. Um, but, okay. So we've lost trade with the United Provinces. You push east to see where the enemy is. Because their garrison is quite weak. So let's experiment. How many men can leave Hanover before they get upset? Right 
Minus two. That's their limit. So you can't move. These Vile Dragoons can now leave Stuttgart. So they can push up to Hanover, which frees up. Does it free up two infantry units for one Dragoon? Minus two. Okay. So you men are going to advance up. I mean, theoretically, we could take that. I reckon we could. I'm pretty sure we can. Ooh, oh, I wasted a turn there. I should have gone for empiricism, but f unfortunately, it's only going to take two turns. So you'll be done at the same time. Great. Okay. So Hanover. Recruit a well dragoon unit can you recruit one at a time uh, Dresden you perform your civic duty recruit two more units of line infantry put Berlin well should, should we just go for it I think we go for it to be honest let's go for Berlin because then we can at least rapidly reinforce from Dresden to the south, and this would be a hell of a uh, kick in the knackers for Prussia, although they're likely to send armies, troops directly at us. Um, so we want to try and win this with as few losses as possible. So my guns deploy to the rear to fire at range. The infantry push up rapidly with wild dragoons on either flank. As is tradition, we must run because of the power of the artillery. My artillery is not automatically firing, but let's get them to pick... A unit of garrison line, although it looks like we've got sound issues, which is a bit of a bummer. But we are relying on Dragoons providing an, a quite a critical edge here. So let's commit them rapidly. Especially as we know that early infantry is quite vulnerable to early... Okay, abandon the 2nd Regiment. Go more into the centre, especially as that Firelock Armed Citizenry unit's already wavering. So is this unit, actually. Damn, you didn't get them. But they are routing, which is great. So then pivot the line. Get my cavalry out of this engagement. Chase down the... F Ooh, no, there, wait. Okay, yeah, chase them down. You men face off that infantry unit. You chase down the enemy units that are routing. So we can shatter them and make sure they don't come back. Kill the enemy general. Artillery. Target the block here. Continue to attack the garrison line. You men attack the 14th regiment, but they're shattered. They're shattered. Attack that unit there. You men cease fire. You guys push up to the new front line. You get to work on the units that have not yet shattered. Because we've got the 2nd Regiment there. Okay, they're shattered. Okay, you're not necessary because they're going to shatter them. There we go. You men chased on that unit. There we go. They're shattered. Get the Wild Dragoons to go wide. 
everyone shattered. Get the Dragoons to mass against that surviving unit. Get the infantry to push that way. So my cavalry is going to take a bit of a hammering. But I think we're going to shatter these armed citizenry chaps fairly rapidly. There we go. And there goes the 2nd Regiment of Militia. What would be quite the coup, I think, is if we were able to get a peace with Prussia, if they accept this is such a devastating loss, they go for peace. Understandably, they are not happy. So I think I might destroy the college for now. I don't, it's, it's a bummer. But I think I've got to do it to keep them on side. I'm going to not build on it. Oh, have, we got, have they got any religious happiness bonuses? No, they've got religious unrest. Let's knock down the chapter school as well. Let's see if we can get a peace with Prussia, because we probably won't. Peace and trade. Nope. Very well. So let's repair that building. The Royal Palace is because we sabotaged it. It's pretty knackered. We can fully replenish our garrison. But yeah, they're gonna they're gonna come at us. <laughs> they're gonna come at us. Okay, so you are gonna be exempt from tax in order for us to move more troops east. Minus one. We are gonna push it to minus two. Okay, so that's the, that Union of Wild Dragoon that just arrived. You get over to Berlin. You get over to Berlin. Let's get our agents to begin trying to assassinate August Fischer. Try and take out some of their generals. Good, we got Mr. Fischer. Let's see if we can get... I can't remember that chap's name. Alexander Dudonia Zobloten. We're probably not going to get him, but if we can, there's a 16% chance. Nope. But that's quite good. If they don't get here in a turn... If they don't get here in a turn, which is possible, but at least we've beefed up somewhat. Two more turns until we've got the building down here in Munich built. We've got troop... We've got... Some troops that are being recruited to go north. We're at war with the United Provinces, but I'm hoping the French can keep them tied up long enough. And the answer to that might be no. But I don't want to, so I don't really want to lose troops from Cologne. Promising. Promising. Very promising. Oh, they're at war with Poland as well. That is perfect. That is absolutely perfect. I should really have looked for that. Because that means they can't send their full strength against us. They can send forces to raid us, but that's about it. So all of my money I gain this turn needs to probably go on repairing the Royal Palace. And what I should have done, but didn't, although it's kind of moot, is... Actually, okay, you guys might go and try and start take try and six percent. Have a go. See if we can start taking out some of these Dutch generals. So the workers on strike in Hanover. Ah, you're gonna stay in the city. You're gonna stay in the city. Two thousand, four thousand to repair the royal palace. Minus five for Berlin to come into the come into the fold, but if I can get these troops over to Berlin, minus five becomes minus two, which is good. I can't recruit anything. I can't recruit cavalry from here either. But I think if I can get one unit of dragoons out from Hanover, then recruit a unit of militia to hold. They, you become minus one, which means you'll break something next turn, and then you'll be okay. Which is really good. 
So here you're going to recruit a 12 pounder in case the Dutch come calling. We will soon have access to a port. I mean, obviously we don't, but soon. I want this force to be back up to, or back in a, in a stronger position. And I also want to be in a position where we're recruiting. Oh, I should upgrade. Okay, right. Next turn. 111. Why am I not getting any moolah? Well, I have to exempt you from tax. Oh, is it because I'm exempting Hanover? Potentially. Okay, let's go on another tech selling thing. Let's try and get a grand for... Nope. Sweden, tech. Military syllabus. Mine demand two grand for military syllabus. I'm kind... No, I'm about to get empiricism. No, 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 no. I'm not going to fall for that. Come on, minor nations. What, Denmark? Fine, if you won't buy it. Oh, Denmark's apparently very well set up for technology. Okay, then, what about Louisiana? Apparently they're the same. What about Savoy? Hmm, maybe you can't trade technology with minor nations. What about the Ottomans? What about if we request peace? They're allied with Prussia, that's why they don't like me. Poland, peace and trade. Oh, P oh no, they're at war with... No, they're not. Oh yeah, they are. They're at war with Austria. Don't worry. Disregard. Um, hmm. It would be good to get you off my back. And Britain as well. But they're, they're allied with Austria and Prussia, so that's not going to happen. What if I offer to sell you ring bayonet for two grand? Okay, what about ring bayonet for a grand? Fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> France seems to be doing okay. To be honest, I wouldn't be, wouldn't be surprised if part of it was just... I wouldn't be surprised if everyone was just a bit skint. <laughs> Getting my agents going on his merry way into Eastern Europe. Prussia have taken Breslau. They've abandoned our port, but they're probably going to uh, do some raiding. But that might give us access to more ports or access to more potential trade opportunities like Sweden, who's just across the water. Let's see if we can get some trade opportunities. The Marathas will trade with us. Sweden's we can't, but let's trade with the Marathas. Let's trade with Spain, because they're indifferent, so they should like us now. Good, so that's two trade regions from Rostock. This <laughs> is just a bunch of cavalry and artillery. Um, but annoyingly, well, I'm gonna, I am gonna send out my art, this little army, to go clear out this force because their cavalry is weak and their artillery will get mopped up easily. But now we can start to research uh, fire by rank, which will be huge, which will be really big, really, really, really big. So I'm hoping my Dragoons can do most of the heavy lifting. But ultimately, it's regiment, two regiments of horse plus a demi cannon unit, and it looks like they're not actually that bothered in trying to, to be honest, just run my cavalry.
So send two units of cavalry against one of theirs. Send one of my cavalry units to start knocking out their artillery. Because by the time we, we've killed the general in the first charge... There we go. We, we'll knock out these artillery pretty rapidly. Especially if they don't dismount. Or if they don't um, unlimber. Come on. Kill them. Kill the guns completely. Don't just let them get away. You want to go after those gunners because they're both vulnerable. The routing artillery is shattered. Go attack the regiment of horse. You're going to go after these gunners, then go after that last gun team. My infantry are here, ready to attack the regiment of horse. Ah, oh, there we go. You men push to the north and charge down the hill into the 19th regiment of horse. There we go. Now you can hit them in the flank. I'm not quite sure where you're going. Ah, oh, their regiment of horse says they're winning slightly. Well, I got a hundred or two hundred twenty-five Bavarian troops. They're so going to have something to say about that. There we go. They're wavering and they're they're very intermingled with all my units. So keep attacking them. Kill as many as you can before they leave. Before the end battle thing comes up. Then we're going to end the battle. Because that should, I think, be that army destroyed. If it is. If it isn't. That'll be a bit of a bummer. 44 men remaining. That's enough for one cavalry unit to be dispatched. From Berlin. Dragoon unit go out. Mop up the last... We, lost, we didn't lose a single man. Remarkable. Get into Rostock. So we can recruit a galley. To maintain... Oh, okay, right. Maybe we ought to gamble on getting a galley. I want to keep... Oh, you're just out of range. Okay, right. Can you get into range? No. I really hope that's not enough to let them rebel. Which it could well be. But even if it is, I don't think it's going to be significant. So you have another crack at the general. No, nope, you were spotted. So we've got empiricism. Research. Fire by rank. We should have some more units in Munich to recruit now. We do. Leibgarde, Trabarten, Grenadiers. Engineers line infantry. Freikorps line infantry. Expats. More Dragoon units because we've got Carbines. And Hussars. More Prussian horse. Awesome. The next turn, we should be getting... Oh, okay. It's, okay, we're not getting as much as I'd like. We're getting a good amount from trade. But again, it does come down to me having to keep some of these territories exempt from tax. There's going to be a rebellion in Berlin, which is going to be... A bit of a bummer, but we can send out our armies to take them out. And when they do rebel, when we uh, destroy the rebelling army, they will be even more in our favour. I'm, yeah, I'm not even looking at trading yet. The only reason I've got access to it now is because I actually have, um, <laughs> actually have trade routes now that can run by sea. But my hope is as Hanover becomes more and more stable, we'll send forces east and west to secure... Ooh, they take Warsaw from Poland. Okay, so they're falling east. Well, you're coming for Berlin, are you? Oh, you're not in range. But that could be a complicating factor as far as the rebels go. But if you come at us, we can defend quite hard. Sweden's causing things to chug. I'd be curious to see. I'm not sure why Sweden's chugging. I wonder what you're trying to do then. 
Oh, they've taken Norway. They're probably working out how to get across to Denmark itself. But there we go. We're in a much better position than we were, because at least now we only really have one. Oh, the Danish have taken a Swedish ship. Yeah, the rebels... The Prussian rebels are going to be a bit of a complicating factor. Yeah, yeah there we go. So, what have they rebelled with? A couple of units of infantry, some dragoons. Nah. Full army, though. But, let's recall our spies to try and take out their general. That'll really help. If we can. Yes, we got him! Let's see if we can make another... I don't want to make peace with Prussia. But it's tempting, because then it would mean that we can... No. It would be tempting. Very tempting. Okay, so let's take... Repl replenish you guys. Can you guys leave Hanover? No. Can the militia leave Hanover? Well, to be honest, I can't remember if we, how we're doing as far as that goes. So we're at 933 cash. I don't know if it's worth replenishing anything. They're going to come at us. We've got a couple of cannons, though. They've not got so many. So we can we can do quite well in, def in a defensive action, I think. Actually, let's just hold. Hold off for a minute. Six turns till we get to fire by a rank. There's nothing we can do that's immediately useful from an economy standpoint. Ah, oh, we can repair the craft workshop. Good. So you men are quite useless for now until more of this resistance to foreign occupation drops in Hanover. At the very least, we'll only fight... I th well, I don't know, actually. Will we fight them both at the same time? I think they might be out of range. If you go for the capital... If you go for the capital, then I think they don't join in because their action turn... Well, their action is later. They may rebel and they may push my ships out of port, but that would be a still a good result. Because if they push my ships out of port, sure, they'll get sunk and captured, but they will also... Um, they will also go away from the capital. I'm glad that France is still sparring with the Dutch. Because I do not want to fight them just yet. Once I get fireway rank, and once I start cranking out my economy, I want to see if that army falls back, or if it just sits where it sits... If it just st sits still. No, nope, they're sieging me, so we will... I wonder what happens if the rebels attack, then. Well, Poland isn't going down without a fight. Poland is cracking on. I'm sure the Dutch are probably going to go for Denmark. But let's see if Denmark is so easily cowed. Cannot, I can't even contemplate building a Bavarian navy at the moment. All I want is a ship to sit in my port to make sure our trade stays open. I mean, understand... <laughs> did they just get intercepted by the, the Prussian army? They did! <laughs> Stupid rebels! <laughs> Stupid Prussians! <laughs> They're, both, they're not the same faction, these are specifically the Brandenburger rebels, but they intercepted them, which means they are depleted, which means that the next action, technically it says we're bankrupt, um, but we're going to get some money in next turn. I think we can even stretch to taxing Hanover, because now we know they've been flat. We know they've been flat, so we can begin to tax them to gain an extra little bit of cash. Brandenburg obviously is can also now be taxed. Get positive two grand. Let's take 
the garrison of Berlin and attack this force here, which is now, thanks to its own stupidity, in a much worse position. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the defence of Berlin. Cheers everyone.